Hello guys, my name is Eric Van. Let's get down to some serious business. And welcome to a game called The Static Calls My Name. So, uh, this game is going to be one of those experience games, and it's supposed to have a really powerful message, so I'm really looking forward to playing it. Now, if you're not into that kind of thing, then, um, your mama. Okay, that's all I want to say, yo mama. Just kidding. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's just get down to beeswax here. Okay. So I see a little nice fart cloud right here. Name Jacob Ernholtz. Jacob Ernholtz, age 31, method asphyxiation by hanging. Yes, so apparently on this game's website when I download it says um, one of the themes are suicide. And I imagine maybe we're seeing like his spirit and uh, he's already committed suicide or something. The static, oh, I said the static calls my name. It's the static speaks my name. Oops. It's just semantics, whatever. Today will be a better day. So you know what? I wonder if there's going to be like different kind of people we're going to meet here. So it's 3.22 a.m. We obviously, we suffer from, um, it looks like bipolar disorder. I mean, if you look up here, uh, that person's face is split in half. There's a dark side and a light side. So, you know, there's manic and depressive phases there. And I've been there a bit myself. I mean, I used to suffer from it more than I do now until I, well, I started YouTube and I moved to Korea and my life drastically changed, um, for the better. And I've been dealing with it like way better. And I, I rarely ever have, uh, huge phases anymore, but I do sometimes. Um, but it's it's quite rare, you know. And sometimes, like, even when I'm having those phases, I can, like, get myself out of them with psychology. I'm like, man, there's so many people that love me on YouTube. Why would I be... Why should I be depressed? And it helps to pick me up, but, you know. Do my best. And uh, I really wanted to play this game because I know that there are a lot of people that send me messages saying, like, um, they've been depressed and my videos have helped them out, you know, and they just... Or they have anxiety and they stay at home all day. Um, they don't want to go out. Uh... But, you know, they watch the videos and it makes them feel more comfortable with people because it feels like we're one-on-one -on -one doing interactions with each other. And uh, I think the same too. I mean, when I do YouTube, I feel like I'm individually sitting down one-on-one -on -one with all of you guys. And I'm talking to you guys directly and you're like right here with me. Um, but, you know, it, it's kind of weird because it, it doesn't feel like you guys are all sitting here with me. It just feels like I'm individually speaking to all of you, if that makes any sense at all. Because, you know, if, if all you guys were sitting here staring at me, now imagine that. I'd be like, oh my god, I'm so scared. They're all naked. They're all naked. They're all naked. <laughs> well, I wouldn't be that scared, actually. I've done lots of public speaking before. Man, this person really loves this painting of, of these palm trees on, a, on an island. There certainly are a lot of them. Black and white, higher contrast. Here we have B. This juxtaposition is no accident. But what does it mean? The seventh leaf is dying to be dead. Possibly biblical? B is an extension of the seventh day, the Lord's day, and hints at the infinity. Man, this person is obsessed. It's one of those people that, like, reads too much into something. Where, it, you know, it's not even really there. This is just two palm trees on an island that someone probably painted. Someone saw it and, like, painted it. And there's one dead leaf here. But it, I don't think it really represents anything. But I guess art is beautiful in the way that it can be represented. However much uh, to the viewer's discretion. So, I guess, I guess maybe, but this guy, I mean, he's, I think he's... I was going to say borderline obsessive, but he's, <laughs> he's obsessed. Okay, to do for hidden door to safe room. We got to get in there. Have lock on the door fitted so I can use my house key. Okay, so I got to get my house key. Glue down light upright books. It's annoying when they fall. That's OCD. That's totally obsessive compulsive disorder when, like, you know, everything has to be exactly perfect. My dad's like that with cleaning. You know, there's a little bit of dust. And he's like, Eric, we got to clean. I'm like, no, dad, we just did it like two days ago. And I had to do a lot of cleaning when I was young because of it. Make books look casual on the shelf so people aren't suspicious. See page two. Why is this too formal? This is a good amount of casual. This is so casual it looks fake. Jeez, this guy has problems. Jacob. I mean, I, I thought, I knew this was going to be about depression, but man, he is, he is obsessed. Of OCD. <laughs> Mom, I guess I'm supposed to write a note. I don't want you to blame yourself, and with Dad gone, I'm sorry. I have to leave you too. Please don't be angry. Are, <coughs> are you like, did you write that? Does that mean you're going to commit suicide? Don't commit suicide, seriously. I mean, this is your suicide story. It seems like it anyways. Um, but seriously, don't do it. Why would you even do that? You, got, you have a family. I mean, you're not only. Police have a few leads in disappearance of local partner. Tim Allen Comedy Special a Delight, say fans. Repeal Obamacare? No, don't repeal Obamacare. Still empty, I guess it's shrimp again. 
Hmm. Yeah, suicide is never the answer because, I mean, if you're not going to live for yourself, at least live for other people, right? Why'd I open up the circuit box? All electricity goes to our guest in case of emergency. Well, that's very noble of you. I, hey, I got the keys. So this is going to open the door to, like, the safe area. That's great. Look at this. I know that's a little... Oh my god, that's the secret area. <laughs> I was just pressing uh, interact on the books there. Because I was like, that looks a little too casual for you, Jacob. Need sleep. Tired and tired. Yeah, of course. You're... Oh my god. Okay, well, this is the entrance to the safe. And this is... You paint more of these, all the... What?! What?! Okay, I'm totally sorry about that. Like, who forgets to turn their phone off in the middle of a recording conversation? Who would even do that? Okay, um, what the hell? Is this... There's a person there eating what looks like a rat or a lizard or something. Why are you in... What the fuck? What the fuck? What? What are you doing in there? This is terrible. I... G I hope it's just like a mannequin or something, but it doesn't look like it's supposed to be a mannequin or something. Not yet. Why? I want to go in there. Oh, I... S oh my god, I didn't even notice this. There's shrimp in... You're just gonna take out the shrimp in the tank. And you're just gonna eat it like... Oh my god. Oh my god. Although I'm not gonna lie, in Korea there's some restaurants that actually serve shrimp that's still alive. And you just rip it open and eat it. That's, I've actually done it. I felt like a barbarian. But uh, it dies right away. You just rip its head off while it's moving. But they're really slippery and they're really strong. Like, they're super strong. Like, Wah! and they'll, like, fly out of your hands. And you just rip its head off. Never done anything like that in my life before. That was a bit of a first. Where's my computer? Computer. Where are you? Oh, I, where's my computer? I, like, I... How did I forget it was already here? It's morning time, that's why. It's morning and I'm recording, and I suck in the morning. I usually record at night. Okay. So, I have three friends, that's great. Hi, handsome, how are you doing? I'm okay, how are you? I'm horny. Oh, that's me? Am I... I'm fairy9968. So, I'm acting like I'm a chick. Am I... Is that really? Press G to say you're... you're you've embarrassed everyone who believed in you. Press H to say you can feel the atoms in your body waking up. What? Press G to say you embarrassed everyone and you believed in you. Um. Okay, let's just say I. F I I'm gonna reach out. I'm gonna say I've embarrassed everyone who believed in me. Oh, I couldn't say that. I'm touching myself. Okay, so I am the blue, aren't I? I just never mind. So I'm the blue and fairies talking to me. Someone. It's probably a guy acting like a girl on the internet actually who's doing that. Press G to say you're about to do something horrible. Press H to admit you saw your reflection be decapitated with a shovel. Okay, I... Oh, God, I think I should say G because pre-suicide, maybe they'll talk me out of it. I don't know. Maybe, but... I'm thinking about how big you are. It's making me wet. Oh, I'm big. Send me your CC info, baby. I want you to watch me come. Uh, Jesus! I... Oh, my goodness. Objective four, clean the microwave. Clean microwave. I need a paper towel. Let's get this paper towel then. Okay. Decide what to do with the man in the cage. That's... Yeah, you... Why, how'd he even get there? Man, this is just... Why are there te... This is just... This is so crazy. Like, I wonder, do we live with our mom... I mean, we left a note to the mom, but I guess maybe if we're just going to commit suicide, this is, like, our house. And, um, you know, mom is... Mom's living away from us. Because, obviously, if mom was living with us, she would have sent us to a mental hospital a long time ago. Or somewhere where we can get help, at least. Psychiatric help. Unlock cage. Return to your room and let your body rest. Okay, well, at least we left the... We let the man in the cage out before we went... Well, before we went, I really hope we can prevent this. Like, I hope we don't actually have to commit suicide. Because, I mean, as much as this guy is batshit crazy, seeing anyone die, and especially having um, other people 
have to bear witness to your his corpse when they come in, like his family and stuff. It's terrible. It's terrible. Let's lo- let's make it not happen. We're gonna make sure. Are these needles? Oh no, they're just nails. Okay, I thought they were needles, maybe drugs or something. Okay, come on. What what am I gonna do inside? No, I do. I really have to do that. Is there no other way? I don't want to do it. No, nope. I'm just gonna eat some more shrimp. I don't. Why would I eat shrimp and then die? Why can I? Is there any way I can save myself? Do I have to use this noose? <sighs> There's nothing to do. I gotta do it. Oh my god! This is one of the craziest things I've ever done on this channel. Seeing you commit... First person commit suicide? That is just fucked up. That is so fucked up. Are there different ones? Barbie Headquist, age 51. Method. I cap from condo... Oh, drop. What is this? A lope? Something from Condo Balcony. Obviously, she dropped from the balcony or something. The static speaks my name. Art design and programming by Jesse Barksdale. What? That's it? You don't get to see the other ones. Original music by Sean Cloud Jones. Why? Why? I want to see the other ones, though. Like, can I not go back? Okay. I thought there was going to be more. I mean, it looked like there was all these other ones. Like, I thought we were going to see different kinds of um, disorders, you know? I thought the first one was bipolar disorder. It looked like um, during his manic phases, he, like, went and uh, was obsessed with the photo or the picture or whatever during his depressive phases he just couldn't do anything right he was just a piece of shit and that's what i thought it was gonna be i thought there was gonna be more about that like we were gonna see maybe like i guess we did see some ocd involved with the bipolar disorder because i don't think they're mutually exclusive and uh you know i thought we were gonna it was gonna tackle some of the other ones well i'm gonna go back into the game and just make sure okay guys well that's it uh there's only this one here as you can see i look around and there's no other ones now uh i guess talking about this game it was it was kind of interesting to see it from a first person's perspective, like what a person would go through before committing suicide. Like this person had obviously planned it out in advance that they'd wanted to do it, but probably didn't have enough guts to go through with it right away. So just left the noose in the closet. And then one day when um, was in a really, really sorry state of mind, you know, just decided, OK, whatever. I did all my daily stuff. I'm just going to do it and decided to do it. Um, having a lapse of judgment and also just, uh, you know, being super down on themselves at that time, right? So, um, it definitely had a really powerful message. It, it was, it was quite cool. I, I did enjoy playing it and, uh, definitely, I don't know if anyone's ever had suicidal tendencies on here, but just keep in mind that, you know, there's, there's people that love you and even though you're thinking you're just ending your own existence, you know, um, I think part of living is also living for other people. Not always living for other people. You have to live for yourself too. But if the part that wants you to live for yourself is gone, then at least live for other people. Um, that's like my only advice I can give because I, I haven't known anyone that's commit suicide. I've had friends who've known people who've commit suicide and seeing them deal with it, it's really, it, it's really awkward. And it just, it, I wouldn't say it, it feels like a waste it's because, you know, that's just, like, a really horrible way of putting it. Because why would you even consider, like, a human being a waste? Um, but at the same time, there's a lot of uh, a lost potential for some of these people that have gone. Because some of these people that have gone are very, uh, you know, they're very uh, good people. They are very have very good personalities. And they're actually quite good at a lot of things. Um, I mean, look at this guy. This guy was pretty artistic, right? And uh, he just decided to end his life even though he could have made himself you know, maybe, maybe an artist someday or something, and, uh, and yeah, it's just, it's one of those things you gotta battle through, and, like, even though you're, even though you've hit super lows, you gotta, you gotta look at the positives in your life, and you gotta try to focus on those, I mean, I know I've been there, I've done that, 
And when you start focusing on the positives more than the negatives, um, then the uh, chemical imbalance in your brain starts to get starts to get a little better over time. Now, there's obviously certain techniques that I have done that is I have employed that's made me uh, better, right? Like I actually started doing some meditation a little bit every day, and that just helps immensely. That alone, like giving your mind some time to clear out all the waste. And when your mind clears out like all the waste. And all the garbage. I mean, a lot of that stuff is the negative stuff in your life. You know, after I meditate, I always feel better. After I exercise, I always feel better. And there's there's certain things in your life that you can do to really, like, combat depression and uh, disorders. Very natural things you can do. Obviously, there are severe cases, which is probably what this guy was going through. So I I can't really speak for those. I mean, I, I haven't had a severe case of it, so I can't really say. But anyways, uh, I really hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you in future videos on the channel. Um, Leave a comment down below, tell me what you think, and I'll see you in other videos. As always, guys, peace.